want you to have knowledge is at this point in time. That's why the New World Order is here. That's why they have all these fucking distractions mm -hmm. to keep you from enlightening yourself. Self-enlightenment is the key. I can't say too much. I won't say too much. Right. To get to get myself into some shit. I can't say too much. I won't say too much. Right. To get to get myself into some shit. I can't say too much. I won't say too much. Right. To get to get myself into some shit. I can't say too much. I won't say too much. Right. To get to get myself into some shit. But self enlightenment is a key. It's pretty funny because directly after saying he's not gonna say anything that's gonna get him into some shit, he proceeds to give a 15 minute interview, which I did cut down to about 10 by getting rid of the uhs, the ums, the no sands and all that stuff. Just to condense the video down because I know y'all niggas are slow and y'all niggas got low attention spans and don't like to listen to a nigga that risked his life to give this message to y'all. Um, it's pretty sad. But I mean, if you're an X fan, continue to watch this video because this, this is stuff that he wanted you guys to know about. He spoke on it sparingly because you know what happens when you speak on these type of things. Um, especially when you're as big as him. The government looked at X, they're like, yo, this nigga got the potential to be the next Drake. We can't have this nigga out here talking it this stuff that we're not ready for the public to know about um i mean when we're ready for them to know about we'll tell you about it and then we'll act like it's groundbreaking discoveries but we can't have this nigga at the top of the rap game dropping this science on these podcasts and stuff like that we can't have this dude that we can't control with a fan base as big as his we've done everything we could to dis to try to destroy his image through these um through these abuse claims which aren't even true the girl lied geneva is a liar right now she's on porn oh, popping her pussy for random niggas online for money that is a whole cannot be trusted I believe every word this man X said about her. She got jumped. She then proceeded to blame it on him because she is a lying hoe and hoes will be hoes. So, yeah, they tried their best to take him down through that. It didn't work. They tried their best to take him down through through any other thing they could in the media just showing this dude out of context saying different things oh my god oh oh he's on double oh he's summoning demons on double xl oh my god stupid negroes i swear to god y'all niggas are stupid if you thought this nigga was summoning demons because he crouched down on the knee and turned a beat off and and spit some lyrics that were mildly violent or whatever when y'all niggas listen to murder murder ride down the block shoot a nigga kill a nigga ride down the block kill his whole family spray the block up i just shot up new jersey nigga like y'all listen to that all day but a nigga get on knee turn the beat off oh my god oh he's summoning Demons, oh my god, all oh, niggas are stupid, I swear to god. Well, I'm not the biggest fan of his music, like probably like 30% of it, but I always rocked with what his message was, and that message a lot of times did not get out uh, because the media didn't want that message to get out. They want you to think this guy is retarded. So, um, I'm about to play the rest of this video. Um, and if you get to the end of the video, comment LLJ22. And in this video, he's gonna say pretty much everything that I personally think in my own mind so i always resonated with this dude i'm like yo if i was in his position this is all the things that i would want to say but would feel some type of way about it because i know y'all niggas is retarded and aren't gonna grasp it and i'm gonna start claiming that niggas is worshiping satan and all that bullshit but yeah without further ado let's get into the rest i'm only gonna say anything that goes around the buddhist way of life you get what i'm saying i relevate it towards that because that's already out there so nobody can come target me for something that's already out there you know what i'm saying right the buddhist way of life right. teaches you there's a all right the more you dwell into the, the human mind right you understand that there are different realms of thought right there are nine dimensions so when we go all the way down to egyptian times right i want you to look like even even let's even relevate the current currency of the u.s right we're currently in the united states correct mm -hmm. where is the pyramid where are the pyramids in africa in africa right mm -hmm. so why is the african pyramid on the U.S. currency, if it has nothing to do with the United States, why is it? It's a good point. Nobody, nobody. So, when you think about the all-seeing eye in the pyramid on the back, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna explain this in a non-less controversial way. You know what yeah. I'm saying? To not get myself into some shit. And to not get myself into some shit. And to not get myself into some shit. And to not get myself into some shit. I'll explain it in a simple way that's not gonna bottle up, like get right. anybody fucking riled up. <laughs> um, the eye on the top of the on the on the top of the pyramid, right, is what they call ideally the third eye. I don't want to dwell into that too much, but the third eye ideally is the human mind. So the more you think about it, the way to get yourself up the pyramid scheme is to use your fucking brain, bro. The more creative or innovative you become, the more you study, the more time you take to really dwell into your mind rather than the world outside of your mind, is the more you unlock. So like the people who have phot photographic memory. Like, nobody realizes how much the, bra the brain is really fucking capable of, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, you can do some real crazy shit, bro. Yeah, you can. You can do some real crazy fucking shit, bro. 
Like, all right, photographic memory. I don't have photographic memory, but somebody do. You know what I'm saying? Or like the people that dream. You enter a whole different realm. Mm -hmm. A whole different realm of thought. You get what I'm saying? So when you really think about it, when you when you leave this realm of thought, where do you go? When you leave this realm of thought, where do you go? When you leave this realm of thought, where do you go? When you dream, where are you? When you dream, where are you? So that's the dimensions. That's the difference between this realm and others. Mm -hmm. Now there's different realms. There's at least nine. And there's even animals that can see in all uh, all nine um all through see all nine realms or all nine dimensions. Like the snake, for example, or the cat. That you see you see the 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 equivalency of the their eyes, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? They see all nine dimensions. Like get a cat, bring him to the house, set them in the middle of the floor, and you'll know if you're if you're you got ghosts running around your house. Because the cat will look. Like cat, you'll notice eyes. You see how cats look around. Cause they see everything. They're not looking at nothing, but they're looking at something that's in a different dimension right. that you can't see. And they have that capability yeah. versus us. Exactly. What we have is called the naked eye. But see, you can evolve. You can evolve as a person. You can evolve as a mind. You know what I'm saying? You can evolve physically or mentally or spiritually. It just depends on what you want to meditate on or what you want to practice. You know what I'm saying? That's just a way of life. That's a way of thought. Now, the more you upgrade and evolve in your mind, well, you won't even give a fuck about none of this shit, bro. And I'm trying to get to that point where I don't give a fuck about none of this shit, bro. Where I don't give a fuck about anybody, bro. And I mean it. Like I'm trying to evolve past caring for any anyone. And I don't. And I say that in a non, like non disrespectful way. Or selfish, yeah. I want to be. I'm gonna be able to teach people that, and then I'm gonna be able to pull the few people out of this realm of slavery. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm trying to get. To. I want to get reach that self enlightenment or that amount of power to where I can save the whole human race and move forward. And show them that the wars, fucking wars of the religion and the races and everything and just controversy and everything in the media. Where, where did this where did this all come from? Tell us something that like we don't know about X. Like where did this come from? What birthed this spirit in you and, and this acknowledgement and this desire to want to like, you know, feed yourself with information and knowledge and search for all these different things? What birthed I'm, I'm that? From, I'm, I feel like I'm from the moon, bro. Real shit, like when I was born, like I wanted, bro, I just wanted to, I wanted to die for, like when I came, it was weird to say, like, like now I know it. That like, when I was born, I'm like, fuck, I'm back, I'm back again. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's how I felt. I've always felt that way, like, fuck, I'm back again in this fucking like realm of slavery, because that's what this fucking is, bro. Like everything is slavery, no matter how we look at it. Everything is slavery, no matter how we look at it. No matter how we look at it. No matter how we look at it. You just joined the system. You just joined the system from from working a fucking like from going to school, bro. Like, all right. I want, I'm going to, we're going to start a program, right? Your movement and my movement, we're going to really take that shit somewhere. Yeah. Start doing experiments. I'm going to really dwell into politics and science and science, but your movement and my movement, we're going to really take that shit somewhere. Yeah. Start doing experiments. I'm going to really dwell into politics and science and science, but like from the minute I was in school, but like, it's funny because I went from school to jail, you know what I'm saying? And there's no difference, bro. <laughs> there's no fucking difference, bro. It's funny because I went from school to jail, you know what I'm saying? And there's no difference, bro. <laughs> there's no fucking difference, bro. Like what they're like, there's no difference. Because you're still a slave. You're still a slave and you're still not free. And it's still you're still consuming your time. Cause the minute you bro, the minute you realize time is the most important thing, even though time don't exist, time is the most important thing. Nothing else matters. As long as you got time, you're good. As long as you're not like 80 something and you're on the verge of death, you're good, bro. As long as you don't got no sickness, you're good. So the whole point was, like, when I was born. And I was and I was growing up. I just knew, bro. It's hard to say. I just knew, and I was always a rebel, bro. Like you guys, my mom. I wish I would have brought my mom in here. I was always bad. I was always like fuck anything that don't matter to me. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes it's good to support that strong mind. You get what I'm saying? But sometimes it can get them into trouble that they don't want to get into. Mm -hmm. But sometimes that is what they need to build them. Well, the system's not built to really grow that. Exactly. So that's why it's looked at as an outcast. Because even in my younger days, what they call now is ADD and ADHD. To me, it was just I was a class I clown. Was just hyper, I nigga. couldn't focus. I was hyper. <laughs> they were you know what I mean? Put names but, on everything. Right. But now that most of the people who were class clowns, hyperactive, ADHD, are the most talented people we have they on have this earth. They have personalities. They want you to be a fucking robot. They want you to be a drone. They want, bro, no offense to, to overweight America. No offense. And I'm not talking about the people that obviously are naturally overweight. I'm not mm -hmm. talking about that. I'm talking to people that were about a normal size and then got overweight because they didn't want to do anything with their lives. They wanted to sit down, dwell into the media, watch fucking movies, eat popcorn, and not do anything for themselves. You know what I'm saying? That didn't want to dwell into that. If you're doing something with your life, you know what I'm saying? Kudos. You know what I'm saying? They want you sitting in front of the media. Feed money. They want you to buy the new Apple iPhone. 
They want you, bro. They don't want you to think for yourself. Self. Point blank, fucking period. Gosh, X, I could talk to you for another hour. <laughs> We've been talking for 45 minutes. I mean, I don't know if we could set up where we can do something like on a consistent basis where we can, um, you know, like on a on a podcast level. Whatever you want to do, brother, because you know? I talk about I'll talk about this shit 24-7. <laughs> Guess what, bro? But this is this is good stuff. And, and and this and I think like again, my goal and your goal, they're in line in the sense that, you know, I feel like I want to reach back and be able to connect with you. And others like you. This gives me that opportunity, that platform to do that, you know? And we can talk about politics and we could talk about life and we could talk about, you know, personal things and stuff this, like this that. This is what the radios need to be doing instead of talking about uh, uh, Beyonce left the house and, and motherfucking heels while she was <laughs> pregnant. Who gives a fuck? Truth be told. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't. And neither I do I. Beyonce, <laughs> but I don't give a fuck. You feel me? But this what y'all want to talk about, bro? I don't want to talk about that shit. I want to talk about why the fuck, why the fuck did did, did, did that nigga kill, kill Eric Garner? Or why the, I mean, why the fuck did that white man kill Eric Garner? And why is he not in prison today? Why did, why are we forgetting about the black boy that died two weeks ago? Why are we forgetting about the woman that was in the car with her boyfriend that had a firearm permit and license to carry? Why are we forgetting about these people? And we worry about all the new bullshit. We worry about all the, 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 new, the new Giuseppe's, the new Gucci shoes that came out. It's all, it's all distractions. You know what I'm saying? It's all distractions. Flexing. I mean, I, I, I agree with you. And we're definitely on the same page. And I want to say one more thing sure. before we move on. Um, I'm going to say this a thousand times. From birth till death, the whole purpose is to evolve. You are going to reach a still point or a purgatory. Uh, relevant to like, the, the Catholic religion where they say purgatory uh -huh. is a moment of stillness. You are going to reach that purgatory state of mind often because there will be a chess piece that you need to move. It will either make you fall or you will evolve. But you always must evolve and you must see what is keeping you still or in purgatory. You need to keep your eyes open, think with your mind and not with your body. People often dwell into that body high. They want to do whatever makes their body feel good. They don't want to stimulate their mind or move their minds forward. You're not going to evolve or have a good life unless you increase, increase your knowledge. And that goes for any dream. If you want to be a journalist, if you want to be a videographer, a photographer, a, a newscast person, you know what I'm saying? If you want to invent a new shoe, an, an artist, I mean, as far as uh, vi visually or musically, you have to evolve. Study the dictionary. Study the thesaurus. You know what I'm saying study every Bible that's out. You know, what I'm, 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 not a, I'm not a follower of a religion, but I studied all of them, so I know I know the overall point of it that there is a higher power. That's the whole point. You know what I'm saying? The whole point is evolution. If you're not evolving, your life is gonna go to shit, and you're a slave. You're a slave in 2017. If you think anything is gonna change, it's not gonna change. Michael Jackson said it way back in the day. If you want to make a change, you gotta look in the mirror and change yourself, and you're a slave. You're a slave in 2017. If you think anything is gonna change, it's not gonna change. Michael Jackson said it way back in the day. If you want to make a change, you gotta look in the mirror and change yourself it starts with you because one mind controls a lot of things you have a magnetic field you have to understand this is just one planet out of all of the universe you know what i'm saying we're not the only ones here first of all this is just one planet out of the entire universe you have a magnetic field whatever you wish to acquire applying the law of attraction all the way down to albert einstein and isaac newton Applying your laws of the universe, you know what I'm saying? Applying these things, you understand that your brain is the most important thing. And if you give your brain to the system, you're feeding them and not yourself. That your brain is the most important thing. And if you give your brain to the system, you're feeding them and not yourself. So you need to evolve. You need to increase your knowledge. Once you increase your knowledge, everything is easy. Once you increase your knowledge, everything is easy. Once you increase your knowledge, everything is easy. So there you have it. Um, on that note, I think it is safe to say that X was killed by the government and not just some random niggas that wanted his Gucci bag and a thousand dollars they were never going to touch after they were arrested for killing a high profile man such as X. Um, yeah, the same way the dude that was, you know, testifying against the police that killed a unarmed man in his own apartment the same way he randomly gets gunned down and oh it was a drug deal oh he he was this big kingpin who had pounds and pounds of marijuana on him and these dudes wanted him dead i'm not buying it i'm not buying it at all uh, the government was like yo this nigga talking a little bit too much out here uh we need to do something about it and then they just 
just frame two two random dudes three random dudes i don't know how many dudes said they killed x uh you know same same situation with nipsey dog it's same thing over and over and niggas is gullible but y'all can go ahead and be in the comment section mad at me all you want for not being a gullible nigga like the rest of y'all have a nice day